Welcome back. This is part two of how to make an iPod poster. So we have, have our image. We have our background ready to receive it. Now what we're going to do is use the polygon, the mag, excuse me, the magnetic lasso tool to select the edge of our person and try to select them and cut them out and move them over here to our picture. In order to do this, we need to get in a little bit closer, so I'm going to open up this window and use my zoom tool to zoom in. I'm going to draw a box around everything. There. Now the way this tool works, we pick a place to start and we click. So for instance, I could start up here at his hairline, right here, and then after I click, it marks an anchor point, and then all I have to do is start dragging and pointing to the edge of my object. I'm not holding down the mouse button, I'm just dragging the mouse and trying to follow the edge of my person. Now you can see already that it's missed part of his ear up here, so I'm going to keep going. If it starts losing its way, if it starts not selecting what you want, you can click to create an anchor point to stabilize the line. So I'm going to click, and you can just then you can just keep going and doing the trace. You see, it's it's trying to see the difference between light and dark. If it can see the difference between light and dark, it'll find the edge. But if it can't tell the difference between light and dark, it will try to make a guess and draw around what it thinks is the edge you're looking for. Now so far so good, except for that one part of the ear. I'll show you how to fix that in a minute. So we're just going to slowly go around. I'm trying to point exactly at the edge of my object with this lasso tool. And you can see it's putting down anchor points as I go for me. I'm going to click right here at the bottom of his leg. And I'm going to click again. So far, whoops, so far so good. It's not having any trouble finding the edge. Oops, having a little struggle right there, so I'll click to make an anchor point. Looking good. All right, there in our armpit, we had a little struggle because those two areas were pretty close together. So again, we can we can come back and fix these things later. Whoops. Whoa, I had a little moment there. This is a really great tool if the contrast in your picture is really light and dark, obvious light and dark. If it's too subtle, this tool is not going to help. It'll be more pain than it's worth. But right now, this is working great. Almost there. Now remember, uh, we had some trouble up here with the ear earlier, so let's see if we get around that this time. Yep, looks good. All right, we're almost to the end. Now what we're going to do is when we get back to where we started, the tool is going to show a little zero beside the lasso. That indicates that you're back to the beginning where you started, and if you click on this anchor point where you started, it will close the shape and turn it into a selection. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to click. And now we have a selection. And that's part two. 
Now I'm going to show you next, in the next part three, I'm going to show you how to get this ear added back in and how to move it into your poster.